Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm gonna do my 12 Pans of Christmas update for you. I have been using these products like crazy, so I'm really, really excited about my progress, and I wanted to give you guys one update in between the intro and the finale. The finale is obviously gonna be like at the end of the year, and yeah, let's just get into my 12, I think I have like 14 products actually, but let's get into my products and show you guys my progress. Also, I just wanted to let you guys know, if you are not familiar with these 12 Pans of Christmas, it's like a huge collab that's going around. There's tons of us here from YouTube on there, and there's people from Instagram on there. I will try to link the playlist down below of all the intro videos, and hopefully um, Jacqueline Levine, you guys know her already, I'm sure, but Jacqueline Levine put together a playlist of everybody's videos, so hopefully she's putting all the updates on that playlist as well, so you guys can check those out too. But without further ado, for real this time, let's get into it. So I'm not going to go in the same order as I did the intro video just because I don't remember what order I went into. But I'm going to start with my Benefit Professional. I decided I'm going to just declutter this. I, I hate this. It doesn't work on my skin. It's so drying. It literally clings to my dry patches. And then when I put foundation on, whether it's powder or liquid foundation, it looks crazy. Like literally crazy. I just, I can't wear this, I'm sorry. I just can't do it, I'm gonna declutter this. I'm gonna give this to a friend of mine that I know loves this primer and just get it out of here. Luckily I put more than 12 products in this project pan because I kinda figured this would happen, but I'm gonna get rid of this, I don't like it at all. Now that that one's out of the way, the next item I have is the Burt's Bees Honey and Grapeseed Hand Cream. And I kinda messed up with my first line, I put it there, but that's that wasn't the correct spot. After I was able to like, push it all down and get it in there, it was way off. So my first line is up here from the intro video and then this line here is from right now, today. I've been using this like crazy and I decided, I know I was really undecided about it on in the intro video, but I decided I really, really like this. It's super moisturizing. After that greasy, oily feeling goes away, I love this. It feels so good and I do like the smell. I think, I don't know, it's so weird. If you guys have a chance to pick this up, you should definitely pick it up and see for yourself. It's a very different, strange product, but I really do like it. So yeah, I'm gonna keep using this and keep enjoying it. Why not? The next item I have here is my Milani Lip Oil. This is in the shade 02, or I think it's the Lemon Scent, and it's weird. I thought it was pretty moisturizing at first when I first started using it, but after using it as much as I have lately, I just, I don't like it. It's not moisturizing. But I wanted to show you, I'm right here, and at the intro video, it was like up here, but when you take it out of there, there's like nothing left. Like literally nothing left. Like, I don't know, and like it's starting to change a little bit on the bottom. I don't know. I am gonna get my few more uses out of this so I can call it done, but, I'm, yeah, I'm easily going to be done with this by the end of this project, so looking forward to getting this out of my space. <laughs> then I have my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, and this was my intro video, and I am down there. I've used a fair amount of this. I love using this as my setting spray. It works great. Um, I have nothing bad to say about this, honestly. It works really, really good. I already have two purchases of this. Yeah, I recommend it. I think it's great. Gonna keep using it. Okay, I'm gonna move on to masks because as you guys know, I put four face masks in here. I counted the three pack of the L'Oreal ones as one, and then I have a little Glam Glow sample. So I'm gonna show you the Glam Glow, glow sample first. There's really no point of marking this. I mean, I can't see through it. I don't really know, but I've used this for four times? Three or four times already, and I think it's getting down to the end. I'm pretty sure I only have a use in it, and if there's any more than a use, it'll probably just be like a forehead use. So I definitely am gonna have this completely done by the end of this project. And this is the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment Mask, and honestly, I don't think it does anything. <laughs> to be completely honest, like I just, I have masks that I like way more than that one, so yeah, I wouldn't repurchase it at this point, but 
yeah, there's that. Okay, and then on to the L'Oreal face mask. So I have the black one, the Detox and Brighten. I have not used this one yet. I have the green one, the Purify and Mattify. I've only used this one time. So obviously there's more uses in it. And then I've used this orange one, the uh, Exfoliate and Refine Pores. I love this one. This is the one I chose to use first, and I've used this four times, and there's definitely at least one use still in here. So this is like a five-use packet, which I think is amazing. Really, though, like, I don't put my masks on super thick either, which I think kind of saves me. And this one's really cool because it is an exfoliator, so I use my little sponge and I rub it all over my skin really well and then I sponge it off to try to get any extra like impurities out of my skin and I think it works great this one like actually brightens my face so much I really do like this one I haven't really noticed anything different about the green one but I mean I've only used it once so I don't really know and then obviously I haven't tried this one yet because I've been trying to use up these and the glam glow one but I really do think that all four of these masks are going to be completely gone by the end of this project so really excited about that the next thing in here is this trust fund beauty that glow though little stick highlighter yeah I really haven't used anything <laughs> I mean I used a tiny bit maybe like two millimeters off of this but I this color is just not right for me I even tried to put it on my collarbones when I was wearing a tank top one day and it's too pink for me like it's just it's not right like even on my skin here like if I swatch it and show you guys like I know that's a stain from lipstick because I cannot get it off but right here like see how like pink that is it's just it's not right for my skin tone and I'm not enjoying this I'm gonna try to figure out a different way to use this if you guys have any suggestions on how to use this that would work better with my skin let me know because so far I just this is a dud product for me. So the next item I have is my little Sephora Lash Craft Length and Volume Mascara. I have been using this a lot. So I used it today on my eyes. Um, I used it as my first coat and then I used a mascara from my other project pan as my second coat on my lashes. And this one's getting quite clumpy. And I'm gonna revive it a little bit with my little eyedroppers just to try to make it last for the whole project but it's getting really close to its last leg it sat in my drawer forever and i think just the amount of usage that i have gotten on it was really really good and i do really love this one but it's definitely going to be gone by the end of this project then another product i really haven't used that much is the milk makeup lip and cheek in perk i think it's the color i still can't figure it out but basically i can't use this as a cheek product this color i don't even know if you guys can see the real color on there it looks crazy on my cheeks like i just i don't know it it looks wrong on my skin tone and when i wear it as a lip gloss it looks wrong as well I mean, I'm only like the tiniest bit down from this and I've been wearing it as a lip gloss, but honestly, I'm just forcing myself to use it because I because it's in this project. So honestly, if I don't get a lot of use out of this, I'm really not that mad. It's not the right product for me. Maybe it's the right product, but it's just not the right color for me. So I've been using it as a lip gloss just whenever I can remember to use it, but it's not even hydrating as a lip gloss. So... It's just really not that good for me. The shade, I don't know. If I had a different shade, maybe I'd love it, but I mean, nah. The next item I have, I've gotten some good usage out of. It is the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Cream in the shade Wonder. And I know it's just on the lid, but I'm just gonna show you that. The top one was obviously my intro. And then this next one is my update. And here it is here, so what I would do is just put it on there. I really do like wearing this. Like, I don't hate it as much as I thought I would. And when I pair this with my ColourPop lip gloss in the shade WeHo, I do this first and then I do WeHo on top, it really does make a nice nude red shade. Like, 
I just really like it. I don't know. But I have been wearing this a lot just at home just because the red is so bright. But when I wear it out, I just put that lip gloss on top and it looks great. So I have been enjoying it quite a bit. And I really do think I might, might be able to finish it. It is a hard one to finish. I feel like I layer and layer and layer and it doesn't go anywhere. So it is a really great product, but I'm not sure if I'm going to finish it. I'm going to try my best though. Fingers crossed, I'm gonna try my best. The next one I have is my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Amaze. And I know you guys aren't gonna be able to really tell any progress, but I have used this a significant amount. Every time I want glitter on my eyes, which of course is not today. I have a completely matte look on my eyes today just because that's what I was going for. But when I do use glitter, even if it's a glitter from a different palette, I still put this on top just to use it. And it really does complement so many different eye looks. I'm, I'm surprised at how much I'm really enjoying wearing this. It looks great. Honestly, like I could do a blue eye look and then put this on top and it'll still look good. I don't know. This is an amazing shade. Maybe that's why they call it Amaze. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I'm not going to be mad if I don't completely finish it because I'm enjoying just having it and using it. So yeah. Then the next item I have is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Swerve, which is their black shade. And I'm just going to show you my little update line there. So that little update line, I swear to you guys, I have worn this every single day. Not only have I worn it, but I've brought it to work with me to reapply at lunchtime and I still have barely used anything. How do people use up eyeliners? I don't even know. I'm not wearing it today, of course, just because my eyes have been bugging me today, but I really do like this. It looks great. I mean, it doesn't stay on the waterline all day, but it doesn't irritate my eyes when it is on the waterline. So I do really appreciate that. And I've been using this a ton and I think this is just an all around great product. And I think we have way winded, windled, wound our way down. I think we have gotten our way down to the very last product in this project pan for me. It is the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in the shade Fig and I have worn this. I know you guys can't really tell any progress lines, but I have worn this at least five or six times and like reapplied it. So I wore it for the morning and then reapplied it for the afternoon. So I mean I've had at least 10 to 12 applications on this. And it's still going strong. It still looks great. It still smells nice. It still performs very, very well. So I am pleasantly surprised with this. I'm still enjoying it. I do have to say that this was one of my colors in like the purpley shade range that I don't really love. But I love this one on me because it's just not purple enough, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't have quite enough of the purple in it to really be called a purple, yet the packaging looks purple and it swatches kind of purple. I don't know. But anyways, when I do finish this up, I'm probably going to buy a full size of this one when I get some of my other lip products out, just because I have really been enjoying this a lot. And like I said, the color is just like perfect for me for the fall and winter. So really, really enjoying this. Okay, so I completely forgot to talk about one last product, so I'm just going to add this in, just sneak this in really quick. This is the Caudalie Venusaurs Cream Sorbet, and this is just like the moisturizer, and I have been loving this. Here are my progress lines. I made a boo-boo on there, but this was my intro, and this is my update here. And honestly, I have been really enjoying this. I've been using it as my morning moisturizer, and it's almost gone. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really have much to say about it. Would I repurchase this at some point in the future? Probably. Honestly, this is really, really good moisturizer, but I don't need another moisturizer right now. I have tons of them that I need to go through, but this has been really, really nice. Definitely think I'm going to be able to get this one used up because I think I only have like two or three more uses on it, to be honest, and I use it every morning. So yeah. And that was all of my products for this 12 pans of Christmas update video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And once again, 
I will link my intro video down below as well as the playlist down below of all the videos and all of the people in this collab. I've actually found quite a few people that I didn't know of before and I've been watching their videos like crazy, like binge watching on their channel, which I know is crazy, but I'm really, really enjoying these Project Pans because I'm on a no-buy right now. If you guys saw my video on Friday, yeah, I just... I'm not buying anything more. I don't need anything more going through my declutters. I don't need anything. And honestly, I'm really just enjoying using up some of these products and getting use out of products that I didn't think I would use in the first place. So yeah, <laughs> that is my whole spiel for this little 12 pans of Christmas update video. And I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys back one more time at the end of the year for my finale video. And I am so excited to see how many products I can finish. I'm gonna count the products really quick that I think I'm gonna be able to finish. So technically I have 13 products now in this project pan. And like I said, I am going to be decluttering this Benefit Professional. So that's null and void now. So that was the 14th product. So now I only have 13. And out of the 13 products, I think I'm gonna be able to finish one, two, three, four, five, because I'm counting these as one, six, seven, eight. I think I'm going to be able to completely finish eight out of my 13 products that I have left and I'm so excited about it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys being here. And if you could, comment down below on how many of the products out of the 13 that you guys think I can finish by the end of the year. Like I said, I think I'm gonna be able to do eight, but let's see what you guys think. I would love to know in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe while you're there and ring the bell for more videos from me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.